The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Anyways, the story goes that there was a, his name was Jeremy, I forgot his last name. Jeremy was a forensic psychologist in the San Francisco Police Department, and he used to be the guy to go, and whenever there was a suicide by the Golden Gate Bridge, among other suicides, he would have to be the guy to do the forensic work to see if the person who killed himself was in the right state of mind to do such a crazy thing. In other words, it wasn't really the mafia, and it wasn't really somebody that killed him and a criminal. It was actually a person who was going through a very hard thing, or whatever, he did his research and his forensic work, or whatever it was, and he would have to paskin, meaning he would have to come back and say, yeah, this was, this was not, uh, there was no foul play here. So he was interviewed by the New Yorker a long time ago, and they asked him, they asked him, what do you do? So he says, you know, he has to go and make sure that this is Taka what happened. And they said, is there any story that like sticks out? What's that, that fa- fa- famous, famous story, that thing you'll never forget, that thing that shocked you to your core? What was that one story that really blew you away? I mean, you work in a crazy, crazy field. You're seeing suicides all the time. You're seeing all these crazy things, right? Very sad stories. Is there anything that stands out? And he said, you know what, there is. It was one suicide, one, that stood out and really changed my perspective on so much. And they said, what was the story? They said that one night he got a call that there was a jumper. And he went to the Golden Gate Bridge to see, and he went, and he got the guy's ID, found out where he lived, went to his house, looks around, trying to do some research, some this, some that, see, what did, it, did, it, did a girlfriend just run away? Did he lose a lot of money? Was he fired? Depression, mental health, like, what was going on over here? Anyways, he found a note on the counter, and he, he said he was used to this hundreds and hundreds of notes, he said. But this note was different. He turned over the note, and he read it, and he said it shocked him right to his core. What did the note say? The note said, I am walking now to the Golden Gate Bridge. If one person stops me on the way and says, hello, and says, have a good day, and says, it's nice to see you, I am turning around and I'm getting myself help because I am clearly not in a good place. If nobody comes over, nobody waves, nobody says hi, nobody says a word to me, nobody cares about me, no validation, I'm done. Better to be dead. It's not exactly what it said, but that's what it said. Everybody said, what do you see from this story? He said, that shocked him to his core. One person. That doesn't mean that one person on the way should have. Or it means that his whole life he was never validated. He didn't feel like he had a place. Nobody said a nice word to him. All it takes is a nice word and nobody said that. Nobody did that. It wasn't the that today, today nobody did, so I'm going to go until somebody says something. No. His entire life he didn't feel like he had a place. He felt like the pain of living, the pain of death is better than the pain of living. Because nobody cares about me. Nobody says anything to me. Nobody appreciates me. Nobody validates me. Nobody says, it's nice to see you. It's nice to be your friend. Compliments. Nobody compliments. That's what happened. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.